We want to end on joy. <laughs> <laughs> what does Joe Freedom or Lily Liberty really need to do now, moving forward, that will preserve our liberty? Oh, live like you're free. The main thing people need to do is get off the internet and live like you're free. Lead by example. Live a free life with your own opinions. If you don't want to wear deodorant, don't wear it. It's got weird <laughs> aluminum chemicals in it. Probably shouldn't. But live like you're truly free. Say what you really think. Be cheerful. Spend your life making beautiful things. Have a job that actually makes the country better. Produce something worth having. If your job consists of oppressing people, say with debt, maybe you should rethink what you do for a living. I mean it too. Mm. If you want to make America better, make it better. And indulge your creative impulses. Like that is, a, apart from communing with people you love, the other great source of joy in this life is making something beautiful. Whether it's a house or a handicraft, we judge cultures, archeologists, judge entire periods of history by the things that people made with their hands. That is the purest expression of a culture. What do you make? It's one of the reasons I love Milwaukee, as screwed up as it is. I always say every time I'm in Milwaukee, I said to my wife the other day, we were in Milwaukee, I was like, we should put the Germans, I don't love by the way, but we should put them in charge of building all of our cities. Because look at what they built. And the Germans in their weird constipated way were totally committed to building beautiful things. They have apartment buildings. Apar I don't even like apartments. They have apartment buildings in Milwaukee that are like breathtakingly beautiful. I was coming out of an A meeting in some sketchy part with Bobby Kennedy Jr. Some sketchy part of Milwaukee, probably get mugged on the street. I saw this apartment building. I was like, who built that? Someone took time to put these cornices in that were just beautiful. A terracotta roof, really, in an apartment building? They went so far above and beyond what you need to do to house people in a honeycomb building just because they wanted to create something beautiful. And I thought, I don't know who these long dead German architects and builders were, but God bless them because their expression of what was in their hearts, beauty, lives on long after their names have been forgotten. Be that person. Build something beautiful, whether it's children, whether it's a front lawn, whether it's a flower bed. The work of your hands enhances the community the society, the civilization that you live in. Keep that in mind. Make something beautiful, and you will make it a better country. I think that. America the beautiful. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.